Hello, Danny Designs here. This is a Friday, April 26th. Uh, went away for about three weeks and uh, just to visit friends and do things like that and get some stuff done and I had to get done. Came back and oh my, look at this. Exploded. Look at the grass. So, still a little wet. But what I've got to do, just got back early this morning, and it's 11 now. So uh, I've got to prep the trailer, get it ready. So the first thing I'm going to do is, you know, when I go away, I have this adapter that plugs into the trailer for the electricity. It's uh, a 110. So uh, I plug this in instead of the 220. Um, that way the 220 is not running through this big wire right there While I'm gone, I don't need it. All I all I need is just the refrigerators and stuff like that a power cord or so So I plug this 110 in and Just to keep that stuff running and it saves me a little you know saves me some Some money, so that's what I do with that. So what I do I'm gonna come out here. And I'm gonna unplug this From you know the power source there then uh, I could actually go ahead and plug this in. Now this is my uh, power for the the washer dryer. I have that on a separate cable, separate uh, a plug in there so that they don't draw from the power source in the trailer. So uh, then I'm going to come over, uh, unplug this, and screw that and you have to turn it and pull okay so there is that part of it so what I'm going to do now I'm just going to pull this over here sit it over here so I put all that stuff in a separate separate area I'm going to go into the trailer power is totally off the trailer now and I'm going to start the generator I haven't run the generator on the trailer in a while so I'm going to go ahead and go in here and hopefully this generator will just start right up you're supposed to run them, you know, every once in a while. So I come in. Uh, all right, good, still running. Uh, generator right here, button says start. It's it's turning over. Didn't start yet. There it goes. Okay, good. You can hear it. And what I've done, if you remember, when I put the skirting around the trailer, man, this stuff's tall. Look at this. Oh, wow. It's getting warmer now, so you got to start watching for snakes, too, when you're doing this, because I'm out in their area. You know, I'm, <laughs> I'm visiting them. So, anyway... When I put skirting around trailer, I uh, made myself a little cut out here on this so the exhaust when I'm running it doesn't just stay under the trailer. So I did that right there. I'm going to let that run for a while. Not very long, just a while. And uh, I'm going to go through my, my process of I got to go back over to the power pole and I'm gonna turn the 220 on to the well house I also um, turned the power off to the well house because I didn't need water in the trailer while I was gone so I didn't want to run that 220 the whole time while I was gone no reason so I'll come out here have it all labeled well, it's been off, so I'm going to go ahead and turn that on. I'm not going to turn the trailer power on yet until I plug it in. And uh, this is the 220 plug for that. And I'm going to use that for my welder. There's the 110 plug right there. So, the breaker. So now, come out to the well house. It's a process to save some money. You know, I was gone three weeks. If you, This is a 100 feet or so from power pole right there 
power pole, 220 wire running all the way out to the well house here. Turn it off at the, at the power pole, that way this, the electricity's not coming down through here. You know, and it, it, it's a little, it, you know, it's not a ton, but it, it adds up, right? So, come out here to the, to the well house. And what I'll be doing is taking this door off of the well house, which you've seen me do before. We have to get in there to turn the water on and unplug the heat lamp lights. Because I put the heat lamp light on, direct plug in, so that if uh, it got really cold while I was gone, all we had to do was turn on this 220. And the heat lamp would come on, uh, and the, the pump, obviously, but it wouldn't be pumping anywhere because no one's using any water. But that way it wouldn't freeze up. So that's why I did that. So the bulbs should be on in there. I know this is frosted, but I don't have to do it very often, you know. And, you know, since I'm running the generator over there, you know, just sitting there watching it run, I'm getting my other stuff done. Okay, so I take that off. And then, we look in here. Yep, light bulbs are, I don't know if you can see them. Light bulb, yeah, they're there. Light bulbs are on, right there, good. Now, now I just need to reach in there and um turn that valve right there which turns the water on and i'm just going to unplug those lights there's that plugs on lights unplugged turn the water on Woo! got me myself a rat in here yeah, there's a little rat he ran behind there. I'm going to have to come out and set a trap. He can get through that crack right there. I'm sure that's where he, he can crawl up through here underneath and just get in there. I need to do it so he didn't chew my wires or something. Set me a trap. So I'm going to leave that off. But I turned that water valve on right there so water's now going through the lines. And uh, unplug that light. Because I won't be needing it anymore because it's not going to be freezing anymore. Let's see if we got water. Should have water pumping in. Oh, look at there. See that? Got me some water pumping. It's good stuff. Good stuff. So, generators ran a little while now. Uh, go over, turn the generator off before I plug the power in, the 220 power into the, the trailer. So, uh, man, look at that. You just tell us there's grass. The grass is just all over. See it up around here? up under the barn over there so fire up that little lawnmower right there to get the stuff near the house and then my brush hog onto the other little the uh, bigger tractor to do some of the other areas cover more area more ground so okay um generator turn it off so i'm headed right now up the stairs Turn the generator off, you should hear it click off. Alright. Turned off. Good stuff. Go around, shut that little door. That way you try to do things in a in kind of an order so that I don't forget to do something. I mean, I could just go straight around there and plug the trailer in and I forget to close this door. Not that it really matters right now because it's not going to be that cold. But, you know, just get it, get it closed down. No big varmints can get in there. You know, with that closed. I'm sure if they want it in there, they could definitely get in there. But i got to clear these out. That's a inviting snakes right there and also you know around the edge I'll, I'll edge around this and 
and I'll, I'll get some weed kill, you know, to kill the grass. It's up intrusive around the, the edge and the weeds so that, um, <clears throat> you know, so that it won't be inviting for, you know, more bugs and more all that other stuff. I'm, bugs doesn't bug me too much. I get it. Bugs don't bug me. But just the uh, area that snakes could hide. Don't like that. Okay. So take this. Put this back in. This is my my 220. My big big power source. Plug that in. Turn it. Screw this on. So it doesn't accidentally get pulled out somehow, so it screws on there like that. I will not pick up these cords yet. I'm going to do that later. I'm going to get my gloves and all that stuff. Everything else right now I've been able to do without gloves. So. Alright. Well. It's on. Yep, well is on. Good. Trailer getting ready to be on. On. Everything should have kicked in. Shouldn't be having any problems. I'll just leave it like that because I will be revisiting, revisiting it in a second. So anyway, that's kind of the process when I get back from a trip. If I'm gone for just a week maybe or, or less, obviously, I won't go through all this. But I was gone three weeks, you know, and running the 220 from that pole to that trailer, you know, uses energy. A lot more in that wire than just that 110 wire, 50 foot 110 wire. So I run the 110 over there and whatever I use in there with my refrigerators and keep my computers charged and stuff like that. And I actually had the heater set at 40 degrees in case it did get down really cold, which there was a chance when I first left. That way the heater would have kicked on at 40 and uh, you know it wouldn't freeze inside there. And then the 220 I turn off from the pole to the well house because I do not need water in the trailer while I'm gone. So I just turn it off. And also, I mean, what if, the what ifs, I play the what if game a lot. The what if the heater, something happened, didn't kick on. The, you know, maybe, uh, I don't know, ran out of propane. Oh yeah, that's something. See, I got my checklist written down. And I just didn't show it to you. I've got to turn the main propane back on. I just had the one tank turned on. So I get the keys and do that. But what if the propane didn't kick or ran out and heater didn't kick on and it got down to 25 or something while I was gone and I had the water turned on, the water line froze, busted, water would just be running until I got back. You know, so if I turn the main water off, it may bust because there's still a little, little bit of water in the lines even though I, it's got PEX in it and all that stuff. It shouldn't, but it might. So I, uh, you know, turn the water let it drain out of the lines a little bit, turn the main water off, and anyway. So the last thing I gotta do, um, this is one of those things that's kind of out of order, doesn't mean anything. I gotta get my keys to unlock the propane lid container on the trailer. Because what I've done with that is I've you know, hooked my main line from that big propane tank over to here. So, man, look at this. Whew. So I Make sure I get the uh, propane turned off. The main propane line. Just again, this main propane line right here. The what ifs. What if it busted? What would happen? You know, all that propane would just leak, leak out. So, the what if game I play with myself. So what I did, I don't know if you could see it. I don't know if I have it on video or some other. I just have a big on-off valve from the main line right here. It goes under there, goes in, and I just have a, a valve like I did with the water over there. So what I'll do is I'll turn the tank off, turn that on, and uh, we'll be good to go. So I can reach up under here, turn this tank off, just because I don't need it on. Probably need to take these out. Looks like it's about down to a quarter. I used it this morning. This morning when I first got here. I'm going to turn this main valve on. Now it's on. Gas is on. Lock this back up. 
that is the last thing I had to do. Just need to pick this up again. I'm reach. It's time of year where you don't just reach down and grab stuff without moving it with a hole or your foot or something first. Because the bad guys, mom calls them boogers. The boogers will be out because it's getting warm. Okay, that's it. That's just the process. Not doesn't take very long, but it is stuff you have to remember to do, or at least I think I do. Probably don't have to do any of it, but I just try to see, conserve energy, not waste anything. You know, now I'd beat myself up if I came back and all this stuff, some stuff was broken just because of something silly, easy that I could have done. You know, like this. So, okay. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe. I appreciate your time. I'll be mad. I, I may put some of this mowing when I start doing that. I don't know if I'll get to it this evening or you know or tomorrow morning, but uh, get some of that on there just to kind of show you, just to show you, get it get it going, uh, the process. Okay, thanks.
All right, well, I got a little bit of it mowed. I have to get the weed eater out to get around the edges and stuff like that. I need to clear all this out. Again, talking about snake preparation and hiding spots. This will be okay once I weed eat that out. It's my fire pit, so just have to clean a weed eat around there and get the grass killer put it in there. So for now, I'm going to go over and get the, uh, the brush hog and I'm going to get a little of that done, not much. I'm going to get a little of it done and then uh, I'll be um, done for the day. Got to unload the car from the trip and all that stuff. So this again is just kind of hitting it a little bit at a time instead of doing it all at once. So, um, okay, here we go.